Okay, I forgot to show you uh, these pennies. Well, got shoes at Brunson. There's also a diamond there. Uh, they're mostly US, but there's a few. Actually, I guess they're mostly Canada, but whatever. Um, so there's a 1962 Denver Mint, 1997 Denver Mint, 1991 Canada, 12-sided, also 12-sided, also Canada, um, 1989, then 1988 Philadelphia Mint, Dime from the U.S., yeah, also U.S., but Denver Mint from 2005. Uh, 1983, 12-sided Canadian penny. The 1975, no mint mark, I think. Yeah, no mint mark. Uh, penny. And I'll have to read that right now. Um, 1998 can Canadian. 1983 Canadian, 2010 Canadian, and 1977 Canadian. That penny is 1979. They can't tell if there's a minute, like what the minute mark is, or even if there's a minute. Like it feels like there's one, but I'm not sure. So, let's get back. Well, welcome to my featured coins. Went down to the RBC and got a whole bunch of these coin rolls of pennies. So, decided uh, so to go through these. Uh, I'm gonna put this put the whole bag into the fridge so that we have Kay. our. Yeah. So they're not much, and in the ends, like there's a there's a couple of the P composition marks there. So quite a few American ones, and um, there's this one here with the young portrait of Queen Elizabeth. And I'm excited to do this. Let's get. Uh, I've done the first five dollar bundle here. Uh, so I just want to show you down so far. I'll do that every bundle. So I found a beautiful six nineteen sixty three with some nice luster on it. Uh, and then another sixty three. Uh, here, a few 64s. Here. So that's with the young portrait there. Uh, so far, I haven't found any 67s, but there's a 66, 69, nice 69 there, 68, and 69. The US Lincoln cent. Like, not the Lincoln sounds like Lincoln, but like the Lincoln, uh, pre the Lincoln anniversary, whatever. So, 2009, this one's Denver. And then, 1947, no maple leaf, so these are lower mintages than the maple leaf, so it's awesome to find a George the Sixth one in there. Even more awesome to find a seven. 47 low mintage. Uh, Philadelphia minted. Uh, Philadelphia mint. 1966. Uh, U.S. Lincoln Memorial. Uh, the mint markets. Philadelphia. So that's pretty good. In, uh, for five dollars. Pennies. So I'm going to go on to the next bunch of pennies. Here. So I'll see you in that wrap up video for this one. So I haven't finished the whole bundle. I still have quite a few rolls left. Here, uh, I show, wanted to show you what I've gotten so far. So there's a 55, a 63, actually two 63s. 
Here's so, with the young portrait. Um. So, and I'm just wanted to show you how many American cents there are. Like the American cents are outnumbering the Canadian cents here. And for any of you who are saying, like, didn't you find any of the U.S. copper cents? Or the Canadian copper cents, for that matter? Um, well, like I did, but I've just not been showing you them. Because I'm not keeping this. I'm just, well, I mean, I'm keeping all these. I'm keeping all of these pennies for a penny box. To, in the future, make a penny floor. So, like a thousand of pennies. So, so please don't comment with saying that. So I'll we'll see you in the. I'll we'll see you when I finish the next two rolls here. So, like bent up scents like these are are common, where it's just something like this. But like, what happened to this? Like, honestly, who did this? Like this one, like this is a 2010 penny. So it's not like it's been in circulation. It was only in circulation for two years. Um, well, actually, closer to three. But, another 2009 D. One of these. Um, Found a couple of centennials here. Um, okay. Just a minute. Just a couple of sixty threes. Okay. Beautiful sixty four here. So I'm very good. This isn't very good light. I think so. I'm gonna do this. So I'll see you in the next next one. I'm gonna do is this one. Okay, so I'm gonna, probably gonna have to destroy the rules. Um. So in the one roll, I actually found a dime. So I got an extra. I think I got an extra nine cents there. Because, like, I didn't pay for it by having ten less pennies. Uh, I just paid for it by having one less penny. So, that was pretty nice. And, like, the first few uh, rolls, it didn't, I didn't seem to be getting anything. But, it quickly, uh, like, by, towards the end of the rolls, it was getting better. I actually found two wheat cents. Here's so a 56 no mint mark and a 52D. And a couple of 64s. Um, 64 no, no mint mark and a D. Um, then, probably there. Uh, 45 Canadian. So, that was nice. Found quite a few 65s here, actually. Um, so we found four, actually. Uh, then a 69, couple of 69s, a couple of 64s, a 63, 62, couple of 68s. Yeah, that was it. Uh, so to this bunch and I pulled out the one with the this one. I'm gonna do that one on film. So so far this is all I've done that I'm gonna keep. So on to this one. Okay, so I found two more George the Sixth ponies, a fifty two and a fifty. And a few more wheat cents. Two more, actually. A uh, 1958D and a 1957 no mint mark. 
a 63G and a 70S. This is the only S I've found so far. Uh, and two 69s, two 65s. This one still has some luster. Um, two 64s. This one has some luster. Three 66s. A 68, a 67, Centennial, uh, a 60 and a 62, uh, a 256s, I'm really shifting this little couch here, 60, 163, a 60, 53, 62, 59, and 61. I think I'm getting quite close to a uh, roll. Well, yeah, if not already, we'll. So, I'm going to on to this pile of three dollars. Then I'm going to do the last one on film. This first roll I opened up here had a marking. It said 25, but then it's crossed out, and then. 35 in there. Then I opened it up and I counted all the pennies and then there's 55. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But regardless, there's that guy haven't really gone through them yet. I just saw the 62 in here. Uh, and the 69. And I'll finish going through these and uh, I'll show you the results of the rest of these. I think this was the camera startup sound. Oh, okay. Um, so I got another two Centennial ones, pigeon on them. Uh, and a couple 62s here. Uh, 69, 68, and 64. So there wasn't very much. And then in the next video, I'm gonna next clip. I'm gonna open up this one. I have this knife out because I had to knife open these ones that were taped. So, anyways, let's get started on opening this.